changing minds, changing attitudes, bring ourselves to live a peace and one, show some love, hold each other's hands, in confidence we'll make the world a better place. Welcome to the Princess Pat Akpabio Show where we change minds and change attitude on how you perceive things in life generally because things are never what they seem to be. Well, today on this show, we will be talking about fashion. And when we're talking about fashion, we're talking about style, trends, mood of dressing and ornaments. As you know, that one perfect way that you can actually express yourself, how you feel at a particular time is in terms of your fashion sense. And so joining me today to talk about fashion is a gentleman who is a graduate of Botany from the University of Uyo here in Akwaibum State, certified software engineer, married with children, but he's also into fashion. And when I mean fashion, I mean a fashion designer and the CEO of the brand, Men's Cut. Welcome to the Princess Fat Akpabio Show. Bassi Bobby. Bobby Bassi. Whichever one, all is his name, and I love it just the way it is. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Fat Akpabio Show. Bobby, you're welcome. Thank you very welcome much. Welcome to the Princess Pata Fabio Show. Thank you very Good much. Good to have you. I love the blazers. Thank nice. you. Love Made the color. The, yeah. Wow. Wow. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's your brand? Yes. I love it. It looks good. Thank good you. to see you actually do look like it. Bobby, when you think about fashion, what does fashion mean to you generally? What is fashion generally? A lot, a lot, a lot. Fashion to me is a, one of the ways I express myself. Okay. I don't necessarily need to express myself to you. Mm -hmm. You just see me and you know, okay. But there are other ways you can actually define fashion. Okay. You know, fashion is revealing. Okay. Fashion is a language. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a language that of tells course. someone who that particular person, person is. is. Yeah. And it, it is very, very broad. Mm -hmm. If you talk about fashion, there are a lot of things you need to. Fashion is, is large. Mm -hmm. Fashion is big. Mm -hmm. You know, um, there are things, there are reasons why we wear what we wear. Of course. So many reasons. I think when we get there, we are trying to explain, explain more. Explain more. All right. So to me, fashion, all I could say is fashion has to do with what we deal with every day. Okay. Well, let me, let me, let me, when, when I saw your profile, it was kind of like intriguing to me. You are a certified software engineer. Why did you choose a career in fashion of all the careers? Wow. Wow. That's actually complicated anyway, but <laughs> it's not seriously, Okay. it's not that complicated. Okay. I actually fell in love with fashion when okay. I was in school, okay. while I was still studying mm -hmm. in university. Mm -hmm. So as I get closer to closer, closer to knowing more about fashion, mm -hmm. I had to just pick it as a career because it was giving me fast money. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> So really, you got into fashion from the software engineer. You got into fashion because of the financial aspect of it. Actually, but it was actually my passion to... Okay, to actually know, do yes, it. Uh, okay. The thing is, when you see something you love and you enjoy doing it, okay. it will fetch you more money. money into it. So in terms of the Nigerian industry and the fashion industry, what do you say about the integration of both sexes, male, female, fashion designers? Are you say, Would you say that we're integrated? Not really, not really. Why? Why do you say so? <laughs> I have so many things to explain. Okay. Because, okay, for example, now let me start with technology. Okay. Okay. Now, technology is bringing us closer to our customers. Okay. Than the way we used, used to, be to be before. Okay. For example, now, when I started sewing, I I used to, I have an account, in, okay, WhatsApp account, social mm -hmm. media. I started advertising what I used to do. Okay. Someone saw me from South Africa. Mm hmm and asked me, can you do this? Can you do this? Mm -hmm. You know, I was able to make, um, I made 600,000 naira from, from, from that first time, from that, you know. Okay, uh, transaction. Yeah, transaction. So you can see fashion technology is aiding it. It's it helping us to grow. Okay. It's it helping the fashion industry, especially in Nigeria, to grow. Okay. Yeah, especially in Nigeria, Akwaibo. 
you know, we get closer. I wouldn't have believed that I would stay in New York, I would stay there like, so, so close, and I would take we take it to South Africa. That's okay, what they we use. Okay. So, well, for me, growing up, I I usually had a female um, tailor tailor my clothes for me. And then growing up to becoming an adult, I'm seeing more male in the industry. So would you say that we've had more male in, this, uh, male in the industry or we've had more female in the industry? Well, let me ask you this. When you were growing up, who was your tailor, male or female? Did I have a tailor? Because really <laughs> all my clothes used to, my mom used to take it to a bar, so I wouldn't know who was, who was sewing. Who was sewing it? But now that you're in the industry, do you think that we have more male um, fashion designers or more female fashion designers? I, think I, I can't really give the statistics Okay. right now because even in my office, I have like... Um, Okay, 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 okay. Twenty five percent. Okay. Female. Okay. Female, you know, go, more into it. More, more into it. Mm -hmm. I keep asking them, why do you want to learn how to sew men's? They said that's what they want to learn how to yeah. sew men's. And these are female. Female. Becoming so interested in it. Yeah, okay, let me ask you this question now. With the rap and the trend of rape that we have going on right now in the world generally, not just Nigeria or Africa as a whole, do you think that a woman's fashion sense or dress? sense could be a contributing factor to why she might be raped. Never. Why do you say never? Never. Never be. A okay. rapist will always be a rapist. Okay. Okay. I can explain this. Okay. Can take me to anywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, I talked about um, fashion being very broad and all mm -hmm. that. Okay, now, for example, how do you explain You've heard stories of two-year-old babies being, being raped. raped. How do you explain it? Three months how old. Do you, how do you explain it? That. Okay. Do you say the baby was uh, was not properly dressed? Dress. Or, or, that's, a, this, you can't say that. <laughs> that's a very good point, though. That. That's a very you good point. That. We've been okay. For example, when in, in Africa, mm -hmm. Africa now, mm -hmm. they see it as someone. When you post a picture of someone with bikini, mm -hmm. and the swimming pool, people say, "Ah." Are you supposed to wear a suit or a gown to swim? To swim. You understand? All those Say, that again. Just Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. Say that again. I'm serious. You don't wear a suit or you don't wear a gown or even bomb shot is not permitted. Into a swimming pool. So that means that, that for every occasion, there is a that's fashion true. That's, that's style that's or there's something. You. There's something you're fashion supposed is broad, to broad. wear it. Exactly. There's how that waist. Okay, for mm -hmm. example, there are reasons why we wear what we, we wear. We wear, that's you right. Understand? Some people wear it for protection. Protect, of course. To protect cold, mm -hmm. rains, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. all that. So, okay, for example, if you are married to a wife, mm -hmm. a, a sexy wife, mm -hmm. you guys were cutting and all that, she used to wear something nice. Sexy you and know? nice. You see, that is also attraction. Uh -huh. You wear physical attraction. Uh -huh. You wear clothes to attract your husband in the house. <laughs> of but course. But time rapper, a uh, man. The guy who... <laughs> Especially <laughs> being that yeah. men, are, men are intrigued yeah. and intrigued by what they see. Fashion is, you can't just know fashion is, uh, you don't say rape, no. you can't just bring in rape. Because <laughs> Into it because of the way somebody dressed. A rapist is a rapist. A rapist is a rapist. For, a solution for, that. for them. Yeah, to take that kind of person to a rehab or something. Oh. Or just uh, take the person to move off with, uh, <laughs> All right. With that being said, how have you been able to stay in business with the COVID-19 pandemic that has uh, really crashed the world Man, economy? How have you been able to do it? A wise person, mm. a wise man, mm. to always use opportunity. Okay. Always make sure you get the opportunity, mm -hmm. whether it is in a bad, a bad situation or in a good position. Just make use of, of what opportunity, opportunity that comes. That comes in. I want to say this period, mm. I have made more money. Wow, how? How did, how did you do it? I made more money than mm -hmm. I used to when things were normal. Okay. Okay, you can attest to me all. Oh, everybody are now using face masks. People yes. are using PE. Okay. So, okay. So, a lot of individuals, some people, some good hearted individuals have entrusted me or they mm -hmm. gave me some contracts to do. Um, how do this face mask? You all started when five people, okay, we were four. Uh -huh. I, House of Bora, okay. and Ferrars, and AMG. Okay. We came up together to do a free 10,000 face, face mask. Face okay. Wow, wonderful. Yes, and, and some, then some organization picked me from there and said, can you do this? Wow. I sold more than 10,000. 10, wow, okay, well if, done. If, if it is 
by 200 each. The calculator that you well know, done. That you made good yeah. money. Well done, so man. You just have to use the opportunity very to go well. to, to, use to run the opportunity with it. Very well. Okay. So now going forward with the pandemic. Now the pandemic is, you know, we're praying that it's going to be over very soon. So how would fashion designer stay in business going forward? What very would be your suggestions to them? Giving out value. Okay. Because that period, you will, a, a reasonable person will come back and sit down. Okay. What have I been able to? What was what, what was my wrong? What was my right okay. that period? You okay. sit down and practice and see what people would need. Right. You know, you stay that period. I know things were not serious. The things were not okay, but mm-hmm. at least you will sit down and you know teach yourself more, mm-hmm. like a one man school. You know, see the areas you were lacking and see the areas you were doing very well. Okay, you understand. All right. So by so doing. Um, that's that's what I call preparedness. Okay. Uh, the ability once you are able to get all those things done. Okay. Then you know the And that will be it. Well, I'm sure you're listening to what um Bobby Bassi is telling us now about um fashion and staying in business. Let's take a short break. We'll be right back. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Butterman Show. Welcome back. We've been talking to Bobby Bassi, a fashion designer and the CEO of the brand Men's Court. Bobby, welcome back from that break. I wanted to ask you, now after the pandemic, how do you think that fashion designers like yourself would be able to retain their customers that they had before, considering the shutdown for a while? I mean, of course, you've made money, but how do you advise them to retain the old customers and how can they get new clients? That's very simple. There's what we call customer relationship. Okay. You know, you've been able to, you have a database where you've been able to reach out to your customer, even during that pandemic. Um, be checking up on them. You'll be checking up on them. <laughs> I just abandoned someone for three months and then later you expect the person to, to come, come back. back and, uh, you know, keep sending them texts okay. and all that. Mm-hmm. Even most of these uh, face masks you've been doing, you just reach out to those customers. You and know, give to and them. And, uh, you know, yeah. <laughs> you guys are so nice. I kind of like it. I wish I could do that. But anyway, don't be surprised if you see me in the fashion scene very soon as a designer. <laughs> hey, I'm thinking about it. Let me ask you this. Would you say that there is discrimination, racism, tribalism in the industry that you're in? No, not really. Not really. really. Yes, I wouldn't say that. I wouldn't say that. Okay. Um, because I, I've not seen it. You've not seen it. Into, yeah, I've not seen it. Apart from us doing the copycat stuff, you know. What do you mean by copycat? Yeah, you know. <laughs> we are very good. Though. We are very good in Nigeria. Really? Yeah. In copycatting? Yeah, you know, there are some fabrics, there are some styles you cannot really get online, but once we see one, we open it and, you know, check how the pattern is and reproduce it and all that. So, I Like you guys are just creative yeah, like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there are people that can go to... Yeah, to France to get some stuff. To get some stuff. And so you guys can do it. You we guys can make it happen. It That's right. And I must say that I'm really proud of the Nigerian industry. The fashion industry, we've really come a long way. We're really doing things, all right? Well, let me ask you this. Where do you see the industry in the next 10 years? Wow. We are really... 10 years is very far. Okay. I'll see us um, competing with our foreign... Uh, Counterparts. Yeah. Okay. So we are even doing it, like I said now. If okay. you go to Abana, the things you can buy in London... Mm-hmm. You can see them. It might not be exactly what, at least for picture sake. You know? Okay. All right. For those who are watching and they don't actually know how to identify, because you know Nigeria, we have different tribes. We have the South South, we have the East, we have the West, and the, the North. How would you differentiate somebody from the North? What would you say would be a fashion style, fashion trend, in um, to differentiate somebody who's from the South South or somebody that's, who's from the North? That's somebody that uh, somebody with um, so much fashion sense. If the person is not even a fashion and at least we grew up to see most of these people like um i said before fashion is revealing okay you know there's there's a way i wear clothes and it's a, a wordless means of communication to mm-hmm. people to understand mm-hmm. you know and um, for 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 the Yorubas, we know them to wear abada mm-hmm. hausa kaftan uh-huh. ibu all those color attires like ishago <laughs> and then us now they like the they, colors yeah so so you just see you just need to fashion once you see somebody you know the person where the person or what the person is representing Thing yeah. from and what tribe they are from yeah. actually all right let me ask you this because i had to ask this question it came in as one of the production questions that I had to ask. Now, the male um, 
fashion designers are being celebrated. And usually when women come into the scene and they, you know, they're rising, there's this kind of, um, before you're being patronized by the male counterpart, there's some kind of sexual favors that would be asked from the female. What would you say about that? Is it something that's going on in the industry where sex it's is not, it's becoming... Not fashion. I think it's almost, it's touching almost... It's everybody, yeah? yeah? As long as you are that an entrepreneur and you're a lady and you're doing well, people will always say mm-hmm. that it's either you're selling or selling... Or your you're buying. Or you're selling. <laughs> so how do we change that mentality, though? Uh, keep preaching to people now. There's no, there's, as, as I am concerned, there's no way, like you keep telling them keep that they, they, they have to, they have, they have to awareness, you know, okay, awareness for, to stop, yeah, because there's not, there's nothing you can do about that, okay. What would be your closing thoughts before we go off air to somebody, a potential young person who might be interested in being a fashion designer, certified engineer like yourself, software engineer like yourself, you're now into fashion and you have the man's court. What about somebody else who studied chemistry? What about that person who studied maybe he's a medical doctor and just said, well, this is not really what I wanted to study. I studied because of my mother or my father or somebody made me study this. What would you say to them? What would be your closing thoughts to that? It's very, very simple. Okay. Identify your niche. Okay. Never stop learning. Right. You know, um, if it, if that's your passion, also trust God. You know, mm-hmm. if you are good in something, you are good. Give mm-hmm. up value. Mm-hmm. People who don't want to patronize you because your name is Bobby Bassey, mm-hmm. they want to patronize you because you can sew or you can give, you can deliver. Mm-hmm. That's all about. That's what I can say. Okay. You know, it's not about the name. It's not about where you're from. Okay. You can you can be a tailor and. See, for 10 years, none of your family members will not patronize you. It's not because mm. they hate you. It's because you cannot give out value. So what give out what they so want. give out value yeah. to the customer. Yeah. Thank you so much, Bobby Bassi, for coming on the show. Let me shake you again. I'm Thank so you, happy ma'am. to meet you. Thank you so much. Now, over to you. After all is said and done, remember, fashion is just a way that you can express yourself and how you dress is your business. You don't owe anybody any explanation on what you choose to wear at any given time. And folks should stop saying that it's a certain way that a woman dressed that made her get raped. No, a rapist is a rapist, like Bobby has said it today. And I want to talk on what he has said. Remember that you will be held accountable, your actions on earth to almighty God. And that is changing minds, changing attitude. Until I come again your way on another episode, I am Princess Pat Akpabio, and do take care of yourself. Bye-bye. Things are never what they seem to be Changing minds Changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Changing minds Changing attitudes Bring ourselves to live a peace and one Show some love Hold each other's hands In confidence we'll make the world Better place. We are changing minds and changing attitudes. You are watching the Princess Patapapio Show.